A Traveler's Paradise, a treasure trove for nature lovers, a romantic escapade for honeymooners, an ultimate leisure destination for fun seekers, and a wonderful adventurous destination in Kerala, Thekati is all about the pristine beauty of nature. Adorned by the enchanting Western Ghats, embraced by the charm of the spice plantations and caressed by captivating wildlife, this stunning tourist destination God's own country needs no further introduction. Thakati is a town near Periyar National Park, an important tourist attraction in the Kerala state of India. Thakati is located near to Kerala Tamil Nadu border. The sanctuary is famous for its dense evergreen, semi-evergreen, moist deciduous forests and savanna grasslands. It is home to herds of elephants, somber, tigers, gar, lion-tailed macaques, and nilgiri lungurs. The Periyar Wildlife Sanctuary is spread across 777 square kilometers, of which 360 square kilometers is thick evergreen forest. The Wildlife Sanctuary was declared a tiger reserve in 1978. The splendid artificial lake formed by the Molapariyar Dam across the Periyar River adds to the charm of the park. The greatest attractions of Periyar are the herds of wild elephants, deer, and bison that come down to drink in the lake. The sanctuary can be accessed by trekking, boating, or jeep safari. Thakati is considered a haven for natural spices such as black pepper, cardamom, cinnamon, nutmeg, nutmace, ginger, and clove. Thakati, better known as Tiger Reserve has a rich diversity of vertebrates. The diverse forest types, vales, marshes, and a large aquatic habitat together support 62 species of mammals, 320 species of birds, 45 species of reptiles, 27 species of amphibians, and 38 species of fish. The invertebrate fauna of Periyar is not well documented, though the predominant invertebrate orders are Protozoa, Anelida, Arthropoda, and Mollusca. 160 butterfly species have been listed. Among the 62 species of mammals, many are rare, endemic, and endangered. Periyar is prime elephant country and large herds are often sighted at the lake fringes. Thakati is one of those holiday destinations that can be visited throughout the year. However, with every season change, this gorgeous tourist town changes its color and gets enchanted by the new set of changes in the atmosphere. The Periyar Lake offers a great opportunity for boating. The boating experience is quite relaxing. It can be enjoyed by the entire family. If you are fortunate enough, you can also spot wild animals on the banks of the lake. The town is famous for this boating activity. The Kerala Tourism Development Corporation operates a one and a half hour boat ride at Periyar Lake, Thakati. Periyar about 4 kilometers from Kumilai in Aduki district, is home to Periyar Tiger Reserve and Periyar Lake. The lake offers good opportunity for boating. A well-connected tourist spot is about 190 kilometers from the Cochin International Airport and 114 kilometers from the Kottayam Railway Station. The forests around the Periyar Lake are thousands of years old, but the Periyar Lake itself is not that old. The lake was formed when the Malapariyar Dam was constructed across the Periyar River in 1895 to nurture the plains of Tamil Nadu. The Periyar Tiger Reserve is rich in its biodiversity, of both flora and fauna. The Tiger Reserve supports about 62 species of mammals, 
320 species of birds, 45 species of reptiles, 27 species of amphibians, 160 species of butterflies and 38 species of fishes. Boating in the Periyar Lake is one of the best and easy ways to watch wildlife in the reserve. If you are lucky, you are likely to spot bison, gar, wild dogs, wild elephants, samhar, and a wide variety of birds on the banks of the lake. Although there are many tigers in this reserve forest, it is difficult to spot one. The best time to visit the Periyar Lake is from September to May. In the dry months of April and May, animals hover around the lake for long. During peak season and mornings, there are long queues for the boating tickets. It gets quite crowded during weekends, mornings, and holiday season. So it is advisable to reach the ticket counter as early as possible. Entry and Parking To boating with, you need to pay the entry fees and parking fees when you enter the sanctuary area. Entry fees are Indian rupee 25 per person, and parking is Indian rupee 50 per person. Ensure that you have correct number of people mentioned at the entry as the slip is required to be produced when buying the ticket for boat ride. There are two options to book the seat on boat either via Kerala Tourism Offices or via the ticket counter at the boating place. When you book a ticket counter, you have to follow the specific timings. The tour timings are Morning 7.30 to 9.30 Morning 11.30 to 12.30 and noon 1.30 to 2.30 Evening 3.30 to 5.30 Bought ticket costs are Indian rupee 40 per adult Indian rupee 25 for digital, still camera Indian rupee 200 for video camera For every person on the boat it is mandatory to wear life jackets. Once all the people are wearing safety harness the boat starts the journey. Somber, the largest deer in India, are extensively distributed and constitute the principal prey base of tiger and wild dog. Wild pig has wide distribution throughout the park. Sometimes, these animals invade agricultural lands often leading to man-wildlife conflicts. Small relict populations of the highly endangered Nilgiri tar are found in the high-altitude grasslands of Mangala Devi. Four of the five primate species found in the Western Ghats are well represented in Periyar. While the Nilgiri lungur enjoys a wide distribution in the moist forests, the highly endangered lion-tailed macaque are confined to the dense evergreen canopies. Malabar giant squirrel is common in the area. Though the presence of the endangered species, small Traven core flying squirrel, is recorded from Periyar, the large flying squirrel is more frequently seen. Salim Ali's fruit bat reported from Periyar adjoining the high wavies. It is an endemic and endangered species, considered to be among the rarest of bats. The tiger is found in all types of habitats though their density is much less in the evergreen forests. Though sighting one is difficult because of the thick vegetation, evidences like pug marks, clawings, and scats are located throughout the reserve. The striped-necked mongoose is not uncommon, found in the semi-evergreen and evergreen forests. Nilgiri marten is an extremely rare and endemic mustelid, though recently sighted a number of times.